What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Flight Club with actress Lauren London. Gonna do some sneaker shopping tonight. Gonna see what she's feeling, what she's not, and then hopefully she's gonna buy some sneakers. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Lauren, born in L.A., still live in L.A. Yes. Talk about L.A.-centric footwear, you know, Cortez's. Well, growing up, for sure, like, all my uncles wore Cortez's. If it was, like, your OG hood boys definitely had on some Cortez's. And W.A. really, I think, right. kind of like, yeah, if a boy came up to you with some black Cortez's and a black T-shirt with, like, a L.A. hat on, he was getting your number. Mm -hmm. So it's cute to see it come back. I actually have these. Yeah, these are like the classic yeah. colorway. And what do you think about a shoe that could come out again this summer and still have that great impact? See, I don't feel like they ever went out of style, and I don't know if that's just because I am in L.A. I feel like that was always a shoe that you can get to go with any outfit if you were, like, not sure what to put on your foot. And like a Chuck, you know what I yeah. mean? It's kind of the same thing. You bring up Chuck Taylors. Do you still think that is the L.A. shoe? Uh, yes. Over everything. Vans, Cortez, everything. Depends on what side of the uh, street you're on, but I'm going to always choose a Chuck over anything. Lauren, describe your style in high school. Break it down. So I was very low key. I always had like a hoodie on, maybe a Perry Ellis jacket. Do you remember Perry yeah, Ellis? Remember. Or Rosalia like a, a Nautica moment yeah, too. Yeah. Uh, I always wore like some type of Jordan or Adidas. I used to wear my hair back in a really low bun, maybe sometimes with a big old swoop. Okay. Baby hair, hoop earrings. Uh -oh. And I was just, you, you still know, got the hoops I though? do, yeah. right? Yeah. They were a little bigger in high school, but that was, <laughs> you know, regular yeah. LA, good old OG. I hear you. What were some of your favorite Jordans? These, I actually still, I'll wear these like out to dinner, trying okay. to be, you know, sassy and cute. Jordan ones, the three, the black cements are like. Classic. My favorite. Probably one of the best ever made. No, seriously, and I used to have these, and my dad, they were like in my car, my dad opened up the passenger door, and the fucking shoe fell out of the car, and I kept driving. So now I only have one cement. You've never got the other side. No, and I'm gonna have to pay like five hundred dollars for. We gotta get it tonight, though. Shoot. Tonight no, we're tonight gonna I need we're to get gonna my yeah. complete the pair. No, the karma is coming back around. Lauren, your character on the game. There was a scene where someone had dirty sneakers on. You played him for it. <laughs> but something happened in real life. Okay, I was in middle school. I was in the eighth grade. And these were really big when 13s, I was in the eighth yeah. grade and 13, so really big. And if you had some of these, a lot of people were getting robbed for these actually jacked. And uh, there was this boy I had a crush on. He'll go unnamed. And the boy <laughs> came to school with these. Like he was like one of the first ones with these. And he left school and came back to school with not these on. He came back and somebody had robbed him for the shoe. So he came back crying to school with his socks on, and I was- He cried in front of you. I mean, he just came to everybody like, I just got jacked, you know? And I was like, damn, that's unfortunate. Now you got your Jordans, and you got robbed, and you crying. It's quiet. Total turn. It's, it's quiet, quiet for homeboy. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> um, no, 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 no. But you know. <laughs> so then, yeah, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't deal with him like that no more. Turned off. It was quiet. <laughs> Every few weeks on your Instagram, an Aaliyah picture will pop up. Her style is adored even more so maybe now than it was in the past. Talk about how much of a fashion icon she is and how it resonates with you. I mean, growing up, I, Aaliyah was who we looked up to and listened to, and I feel like her style was so effortless and easy, and she was comfortable. She never looked like she was forcing anything, and I always try to keep that in mind when I'm getting dressed or going somewhere that it just... It belongs to me, I don't belong to the outfit. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Aaliyah kind of incorporated that a lot. And she was so cool and like Super cool, swaggy right? and uh, she's perfect. We see a lot of women getting sneaker deals. Rihanna, Kendall Jenner, Tiana Taylor. Do you think we're a little late on that and someone like Aaliyah should have had a sneaker uh, deal? Yes, we're late on that. We're late on everything that women are just now getting, okay? Right. We should have been had, a, she should have, everybody should have had a sneaker deal, damn. It's true. <laughs> We got to talk about the iconic video fronting yes. with Pharrell, Jay-Z. Working with Pharrell back then, you know, he has his shoes here. Did you realize how much of a style icon he was? I think being around his presence, you kind of feel the genius around him and you have to respect that. But for me, I was 17 years old in right. that video and I was in the 12th grade. I was working for Paul Hunter at the time 
and he calls me at the office and he's like Pharrell needs a regular looking girl in this video fly down to Miami so they flew me down to Miami because I was a regular looking okay. girl and I had no idea what I was getting into I just know that I have to go to Miami and be in a video and the rest is history I mean you were young but did you think like this guy's gonna rule the fashion world one day. It doesn't surprise me. Okay. I don't know if I like looked at it in that way because I was 17 and my mind was mm -hmm. elsewhere, but it does not surprise me at all. Another iconic character, Nunu from yes. ATL. Yes. Talk about her style. What was it like shooting Atlanta? It was very, very hot, okay. I remember. It was very, very hot. And I we wanted to keep her style close to like what the kids were wearing in Atlanta at that time. So she was like street, but simple, but like flirty and fun. So that was just fun because I was comfortable all the time. I never had to like wear heels and all that stuff. Every few years, and now it seems like even months, there's rumors that there's going to be another ATL. Yes. Can you give us any inkling to if that's going to happen? I know that they are working on it. Okay. And I know that it is something that trying to push forward. I don't know so much. That would be a great TI question. Okay. But what I do know is that as much as the fans want it, we want it too. We talked about everything. Now the easy part, you get the browser shelves. Hopefully you get those black cement threes. Oh my gosh, right? Yeah. That would be great. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Oh, can I have these uh, royal ones in my size? Oh, I got you. And the black cement. Ah. I need these in my size. Okay, let me bring these for you right now. Okay, and these in my size. Bring these for you right yeah. now. Come on. Yes. Mm, thank you. Your total is 1,231 and 89 cents. Oh, okay. Go. And there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Have a good one. So Lauren came through, kept it super OG, told some great stories. Thanks so much. Thank you.